Sophia Radebaugh is at First Baptist Church of Cowpens. Sophia, what's it look like there now? Yes, Ayla, the community is absolutely devastated after this church behind me that was built in 1878 went up in flames this afternoon. Now the church is on West Church Street here in Cowpens, and we don't have a ton of information right now, but we do know multiple crews have responded, including the Cowpens Fire Department. Here's a look at the fire earlier video sent to us by Ann Hannah. You can see the smoke billowing and damaging flames to the church structure. I spoke with both the interim pastor and the youth pastor of the church who actually grew up going here. Their message to the community is hope. The ironic thing was when the fire was burning right over the sanctuary, a rainbow appeared right in the midst of the fire. And it's just God's promise that he's going to be with us. And we know that, we understand that. And as his people, we will gather tomorrow. Larry will lead us in worship and we will praise his name and lift him up. And we will be stronger because of what happened here today. It's really cool. Yes, both pastors say they are planning to still meet Sunday morning, even though this has happened to their church. I spoke to the fire chief at Cowpens Fire Department. He says there actually was one firefighter that was injured on the scene. He is OK now, but the woman inside during the fire when it happened was able to escape in time without injury. We will keep you updated with any new information we have. In Calpin, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News. All right, thank you so much, Sophia. Well, we are continuing to follow a developing situation in downtown Nashville tonight. This after an early morning explosion damaged at least 41 buildings. The FBI now has a person of interest, and CBS's Jesse Mitchell has the latest.